Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions video. I'm going out to eat for my mom's birthday tonight, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to get ready. Why not film it? There's so many new products that I have to try out. So I'm going to quickly go over some of the products that I know I'm going to be using. So I just got this today. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I want to test that out. Also the Too Faced Do You Primer. I also have the uh, Dewy Set Setting Spray from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well as the highlighter. I have the Giorgio Armani bronzer that I hauled in my Sephora haul. The Too Faced You're So Jelly, um, like jelly highlighter. Also have the BH um, Color Festival palette as well as some brushes and the Too Faced Better Than Sex liner. And I also want to revisit this Catrice um, concealer. I feel like I can't talk because I'm like, oh my god, there's so much. So those are some of the products I'm going to be using today. For lips, I don't know yet. I have a bunch of new stuff for Morphe, Ofra, just tons of brands. So we're just going to dive in just a lot of new stuff that has me excited. So if you want to see my first impressions on these products, then let's get going. All right, I zoomed you in and I feel like I am going scuba diving or something because this top from Pretty Little Thing, I thought it would be a cute moment, but now I'm like, um, do I look like I'm going snorkeling? So first I'm gonna go in with my vitamin C product that I mentioned in my last video or one of my last videos. I've been using it consistently night and, night and day, morning and evening. I'm telling you, I'm obsessed. So I apply it first. It kind of has like a tingle, kind of like a little, like a, I don't know, like a tingle feeling, but I love it so much that I'm already getting a backup. So anyways, I already mentioned it. I just wanted to show you guys how it applies on camera. So I apply, let it sit for, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, and then I'm going to go in with this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. So this is skincare from what I understand. It's an ultra hydrating, anti-aging, uh, purple, Japanese purple rice for dry skin. Tatcha people seem to go nuts over it. I've had some hit or miss experiences with it, but I've heard nothing but good things about this and the packaging, I have to say, is super beautiful. So it's like this light purple cream. I feel like I'm going to be super dewy today, but we're just going to go for it. And every single person that I've seen use this just said it felt like heaven. So I was like, oh. I almost bought it, but they sent it my way, which I usually don't get PR from them, so I was quite happy to get this package. Okay, it has a nice light scent. It feels really nice on the skin, really slick. Not thick, but just almost like if you feel like you've been parched and you put something on, like you know when your lips are chapped and you apply a chapstick and you're just like, oh, it's like heaven? Kind of feels like that. I'm curious to see if it's going to lay nicely under makeup. So I'm just really blending this in. Okay, next up I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced Fresh Glow Luminous Face Primer. This is their new kind of extension of the Do You line and they had three different shades. I have the shade Radiant Nude, so there was like a pink, a nude, and a bronze. So I'm gonna give you a close up of the packaging. I mean, Too Faced always does beautiful packaging. Is this focusing? I hope so. All right, this is what it looks like. It just looks like a typical kind of illuminating you know, primer product. Smells nice like cucumbers and watermelons. I'm filming, don't interrupt me. Do you want a special guest appearance today? If you want to come in with your moly. We got, we got sis. Can you get in here? Sis wants to be in the film. So You want my mullet in here? Check it. Wow, look at that flip. Check it. <sighs> Get out. <laughs> wow. What's up, world? I'm sorry you had to see that. What's up, world? Okay, so back to the primer. It smells nice. It feels nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like super tacky, but it also isn't like drying down dry. And I feel like I'm getting a little bit of redness, but it could be just because I'm like rubbing my skin. But it does smell really good. I'm hoping that doesn't like irritate my skin. I almost feel like I'm like flushed. I'm not sure. Okay, because I'm trying so many primers and concealers, I'm going to stick to what I know with foundation. This is shade 455 L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. I've been loving it. So quickly off camera, going to apply it. I like to apply it with a beauty blender if you were wondering. I just like the finish of it. So I'm going to apply that and then we'll jump in and we'll try this concealer from Catrice. I've tried it way back when and I believe I even recommended it, but they just extended, ex I cannot speak, extended their shade range. So I wanted to give it another go because I feel like I haven't used it in a while. All right, so I applied 
applied my foundation and now I'm going to go in with this liquid camouflage Catrice uh, high coverage concealer. I'm trying to find the shade here. Oh, okay. Light Biscuit is what I grabbed out. They extended the shade range. I want to say there was like 15 shades possibly. Uh, so it's still, I wouldn't say it was like mind blowing shade range, but it was better. Let's say that. I think this is $5.99. I remember really, really liking this but I haven't used it in a while. So I'm just gonna blend it in. Feels a little bit thinner than I remember. But I don't think they reformulated. I feel like it looks pretty good though. So I'm just using this as a primer for my eyes as well. I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm going to take a tiny bit just right there. I feel like I have like blueness and I really never noticed it. I feel like the Fenty concealer like pointed it out to me. I was like, oh, maybe I've been missing that. So this is what the concealer looks like. I feel like it looks good just as I remember. Uh, it's a good drugstore option. I wouldn't say it's drying at all. It gives me a good coverage. I would say medium, maybe buildable to full, but it definitely did a good job brightening. It looks smooth, it's not settling. So I'm gonna go ahead and set off camera. I'm gonna use my Milani powder. I've just been liking it recently. I'm gonna set and then we're gonna jump in and I wanna show you, I wanna demo I don't know, it's not really a demo, but I want to use the Urban Decay product that I mentioned recently, show you how I use it. So I went ahead and set my face off camera. Now I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay Brow Endowed. This is the primer and color kind of duo. I'm going to take the primer side and I just wanted to show you how I use it. So I just kind of brush my brow hairs up. You can see a little bit of a white res residue. Wow, I cannot speak. And I just kind of brush through to make my brows appear bushier before I go in and fill them in. And I don't re-dip, I just use whatever's left over on the second brow. So to me this just kind of keeps my brows in place before I go in with a pomade. So that's what I've been using it as. So quickly you're gonna jump off and do my brows and then we will jump into the eyes. Brows are on and I wanna jump into this BH Cosmetics Festival palette. So I'm only gonna do a pretty easy look just because I wanna focus on the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Liner. Wow, winged liner. I have these brushes also I'm going to be using. So I think I'm gonna do kind of that neon trend where I put the neon in the inner corner and then I just do kind of like a neutral kind of eye. So I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to start off with the shade Experience, which is this like light tan right here. I feel like BH has been coming out with so much stuff lately. And I really am kind of like liking a lot of it. So I'm just going to blend this. Like I said, I'm not doing anything crazy because I want to focus on that Too Faced liner because a lot of you have been asking me about that. So this is just like a really light transition shade. Don't know if I'm like loving this brush per se. But. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the shade right here called Chic, which is a little bit deeper. And I'm just gonna use this in the crease. This is a different brush. This is the number eight brush. I think they're only come in a set though. So I don't think you can like buy them separately. Let me use this. These are just really soft, like almost like that synthetic kind that's like flimsy. Okay, I just grabbed a different brush because I just wasn't loving the way that was feeling. So this is just like a regular brush. So I'm just going to blend this in. The color's blending fine. So I'm gonna jump in next to the shade DJ, which is like the deepest brown in the palette. I'm probably just going to focus this kind of lower and on the outer portion of the eye, like right here. This is going to be a pretty quick eye look. I do want to get like more into this and kind of do some like fun looks, but 
kind of on a time crunch and I really want to I want to see how I feel about that liner. I'm pretty picky with liners. Okay, I'm going to go back into that first brush and just kind of blend. See how like when I'm blending it, it's just going like left, right, left, right. It's just a little bit flimsy. Okay, also going to just run this on the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to jump into this Too Faced Better Than Sex liner. This is an Easy Glide waterproof liquid liner in deepest black. It says, shake me before you use. Do I have like... I feel like I have powder all over. Wow. So I'm just going to go for it. We're going to go for a wing. Uh, sometimes I feel like this is hard to do on camera because I have to like, I always rest my arm. That's one thing I can tell you is if you're just kind of going in and your hands like shaky. So I like to rest on my desk in front of me and really kind of go in. So that's the way I'm going to use it. Here's what it looks like if you want to see like an up close. It does look nice and sharp. Okay, first line is good. So I just did the two lines and now I'm going to work on perfecting them. Okay, so so far it, it's, I mean, it feels nice. It's gliding nicely, it's not grabbing or bleeding anywhere. Okay, so I feel like this one turned out okay. It's so hard to do it on camera, you guys, because I feel like usually I'm like crouched way down. So I'm like trying to figure out how to stay in frame. And kind of keep them even and all that. All right, so I feel like that's as close as it's gonna get right now, but I feel like this is pretty nice. I would have to use it again, um, but it didn't grab, it didn't bleed. It felt nice in the hand. It kind of reminds me of like a Kat Von D tattoo. I haven't used that in quite a while, but I do like it. So I'll keep using it and kind of give you guys my thoughts, but first impression was better than I anticipated because I'm, I'm picky with these. All right, the lashes I applied are the Sozu Lashes in Vanity. I love this brand so much. I'm going to go ahead now. Oh, and I also applied this LA Girl uh, Shockwave liner in my waterline. So I'm going to jump into the palette. I'm hoping I can get what I'm looking for here. I'm going to use the shade Haze. I don't know if it's going to be bright enough, but we'll see. And I'm using just a small pencil brush. And I want to apply this to the inner corner of the eye. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I feel like it's okay. I'm wondering if I should grab something else to really make it pop. I feel like it's building okay, but it's kind of tricky because it's a matte, so I don't want to wet it. If it was a shimmer, I would wet it. That's not too bad. All right, I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm happy with it. Um, if I were to do like a full you know, tutorial, I'd probably grab something else, but we're going to move on. I did use a little bit of uh, Benefit Regular Hula, and now I'm going to go into this Neo Nude Fusion Powder from uh, Armani, and I got the shade 7, so I've been hearing people uh, raving about this using it to bronze, so I'm going to use my big It Cosmetics brush and see what kind of color payoff we can get. I've heard that this is very, very, very like forgiving and I love bronzers like that. I don't want to have to work hard and I don't want to have to, you know, blend out a bunch of blotchiness. This looks really nice. It's looking pretty, like it has a sheen to it. It's looking pretty soft though. I almost wish I would have gotten like a shade or two deeper. So I'm going to use this more um, kind of concentrated brush and see... This is still pretty natural, so I almost wish, like I said, I would have gotten a deeper shade. If you're someone that likes like a nice sheen that you have to build up, you might like this. So we'll play around with it some more. I like it, but I just feel like it's a little soft. 
So next I'm going to jump into this Jelly, Your So Jelly Highlighter in uh, Gilded Champagne. This is from Too Faced. I want to use this first because if I have any kind of weirdness, then I'll put my blush kind of over it. So I'm going to use actually my finger and this is what it looks like. I'm going to blend it out so you can see. Now I'm assuming you could use this under your foundation as well. This is like the gold one. I'm going to basically take this much, well that's actually a lot, on the back of my hand and what I'm going to do is kind of blend it out so that I just have a little bit and I'm going to start applying. Now I really am a fan of the Iconic London Jelly. This one seems a little bit more liquidy, but I'm looking for something that's not going to pull up my foundation and that's going to blend. So I don't think it's pulling up my foundation. I'm actually going to go in and use my beauty blender. Okay, it's not pulling up my foundation, which is the biggest thing for me. So let me just... I'm actually shocked it didn't pull up my foundation at all. I thought it might just because it's liquidy. So that is a pleasant surprise. I'm going to use it some more times coming up. I want to use it under foundation as well, see if it's kind of like a dupe for that iconic London. But I forgot I had this. Uh, I've been meaning to use this on camera. This is the Jouer Bouquet d'Amour. It's the blush palette. Let's just say that. You have six shades in here. Now, I have used this off camera a couple times, um, but I haven't like used it enough to get my thoughts. So I'm going to use one of these BH brushes. I'm trying to think what I want to do with this eye look. Mm, I think I'm going to mix this one and this one. Just see what we get. Yeah, this brush, I don't know. I feel like these brushes are not my favorite. palette is pretty I just don't know if the shades are like my favorite I like really bright shades these are quite bright I guess but I don't know I have to play with it some more but it is pretty I mean it gives me a nice flush okay next up I'm gonna go into the so Hollywood loose highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills Oh shit, I forgot that I, I just almost flew that everywhere, flung that everywhere. So I'm going to use this BH brush. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be too deep for me. I'm going to spritz my brush with some Fix Plus just because this is a loose highlighter. I'm like afraid this is going to be too deep for me. I'm blending it on the back of my hand. Hmm, we'll see. So I'm just dipping in. This is the medium shade. So we're going to go over that Too Faced jelly oh dang okay that's because my brush was wet so that's noted okay so I don't feel like it's too deep for me like head-on not that I can see but it is definitely golden I wish it would have been a little bit more champagne but I don't dislike it I'm gonna just try to bring some down my nose I'm just gonna kind of oh wow yeah this is wet too by the way I like to wet my brushes otherwise I feel like you can get especially with loose highlighters they can kind of just like fly everywhere moving on to lips I'm gonna use this new morphe lip liner I used this in my last video um, well I had it on and you guys were asking this is love bite so I'm just going to line my lips. It's just like a nice neutral uh, nude. And then I'm going to go in, I think, with like a, Nor a Norfie. Wow. A Morphe um, lip gloss and lipstick. Because they have like these new lip kits out. And I've really been enjoying them. Okay, I really like that lip liner. Now I'm going to go into the lipstick, and this is called Wifey. This is from Morphe as well. This is a matte shade. And then to top that off, I'm going to go in with the uh, lip gloss in Chill. I really have been liking these. I don't think I've tried these. Like the lip glosses and the lipsticks from Morphe. They sent out a big PR package. And I didn't get that one. 
so these are kind of new to me, but I'm actually like pleasantly surprised. All right, the last thing to try out is this uh, ABH Dewy Setting Mist. So I've used this once and I really liked it. Uh, it gave me like a dewy look, obviously. So I'm gonna spritz the face and see what we think. Woo, you can see that is pretty, pretty, pretty dewy. So let me just uh, blend it in. Alright guys, so my makeup is finished and I'm going to tell you my thoughts, starting off with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. If this doesn't break me out and it doesn't break up my makeup, I think I'm really going to like it. It didn't seem to irritate. It felt really nice and moisturizing on the skin. Kind of reminds me of a product I've been loving from Tarte called the uh, First Step Prep Moisture Cream. Very similar. Uh, they both have like a light scent and they both just feel so good on like dry skin like whenever you feel like you're flaky and dry it just feels like moisture that you need but it's not greasy so I'm gonna play around with it some more but I think I'm gonna like it I know a lot of people are raving about it I'll update shortly when I get to play with it some more now as far as the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Primer I think I'm gonna like this as well because it didn't feel greasy but it also didn't dry down and get kind of like chunky sometimes those liquid illuminators they're meant to go on top of your powders and they can get kind of like dry when you apply them this gave you a nice dew, a nice glow. I would um, kind of compare this to the Becca Purple Primer. I think it's called like the First Light Primer, which I really enjoy. I almost went through a whole tube and I had to get rid of it because it was expired. So this reminds me of that and the way that it applies. It's just like a nice under makeup dewy primer that's not super greasy or thick or anything like that. So I anticipate that I'm going to like this. I'll keep using it and we'll update obviously with all these products. Moving on to the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. I like it just as much as I used to like it. I knew I was going to like it just because I remember, you know, using it and enjoying it. So I like this. I think it's like $5.99. So it's a good product if you're looking for like a drugstore nice concealer. Although I will say the drugstore is killing it right now. Okay, so moving on to the blush palette. I've used it a few times. I don't know if I'm in love, and I don't know if it's just the shades in here. They're fine, but I tend to like shades that are all like this or even more baby doll. So I don't reach for it a lot. I don't think it's bad. I think it's good quality, but they're just not my favorite shades. Uh, as far as the jelly highlighter from Too Faced, quite impressed with this. I really thought it was just going to immediately lift my foundation because of how wet it is. Kind of like the Farsali jelly highlighters. It feels really wet like that. And a lot of times things like that will lift, so it didn't do that. So high hopes for this. I would mix this in with foundation or even use it underneath as I use my Iconic London. So we'll keep playing with this as well and we'll see kind of all the ways we can use it. In terms of the Color Festival palette, honestly I didn't use enough shades to really get an opinion. The shades I used worked fine, but I haven't used like the bright shades and the really shimmery shades. Well, I didn't use any shimmers in here. So I'll have to use it some more. I've been impressed with BH lately, uh, specifically the Daisy palette. So I feel like this is probably the same formula. We'll keep playing around with this. Too Faced Eyeliner, impressed. It looks really black. I feel like it was quite easy to use and any mistakes that were made were on me. So I feel like it reminds me of the Kat Von D tattoo. We all know people aren't supporting Kat Von D. I am not supporting Kat Von D anymore. So we need to find alternatives and I still do enjoy my M Cosmetics brush tip and I enjoy my Artist of Makeup, uh, but I like this a lot. This reminds me of the tattoo. Now, how long does it go before it dries out? That's going to be a big selling point for me, but the ease of application and how black it is are a thumbs up for me. Now, in terms of this uh, Giorgio Armani Fusion Powder, I wish I would have got a darker shade, so I'm going to have to keep playing around with it. If I really, really enjoy the formula, I might just bump up a shade or two. It's so forgiving and so light. I feel like I just had to work a little bit. I had to keep layering and for every day, I just kind of want to throw it on and go. So we'll keep updated on this. This was pricey, so I really need it to kind of be a workhorse for me or else I'm like, why did I buy that? Uh, the So Hollywood Loose Highlighter, I like it. I didn't think I would, but I do like it. I feel like it's nothing different or any better than like the Artist Couture. I like the Artist Couture uh, highlighters, loose, highlight loose highlighters, wow, speak. Get your words out. I really like the Artist Couture Loose Highlighters. I like the formula better on the Artist Couture because this is chunky and kind of like, kind of flaky inside. Like I had mentioned in my previous video, it's almost like little kind of balls of pigment, whereas the Artist Couture is so fine. It's just like straight 
I don't know, like a finely milled powder. So moving on to the dewy set, I do like this. This reminds me of the Pixi Glow Mist, um, is that what it's called? The Pixi Glow Mist. So I do like this as a nice light scent. People were saying the sprayer is aggressive. It's a little bit aggressive, but I feel like it's just like Fix Plus. And I like the way it makes my skin look. It doesn't make me sticky. Now, if you showered yourself with this, I feel like you might have like a tacky base. So I would just, you know, spray as usual and roll. So I do like this uh, more than I thought. I actually like this more than MAC Fix Plus, which is crazy. And then last up, I really am enjoying these Morphe products, specifically this lip liner in Love Bite. I really like it. I've worn it a couple times now, and I like the glosses and the lipstick. I like the cream formula on these lipsticks better. I used one the other day. Um, the matte is fine, but it almost feels like the ColourPop Powder Kiss, where I, whereas I would rather have like a kind of like a creamy. So, really like these. They have enough pigmentation to show up. I don't like glosses that are clear. We all know that. And I really, 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 really like this. This reminds me of a MAC lip liner, but a little bit creamier. Alright guys, so that concludes my trying new makeup. As usual, I will go through all these products, keep using them. If there's anything you want to see me use again or you want to know my thoughts, comment down below. I will update on these products shortly in maybe a couple weeks when I kind of have the time to go through and use them more than once. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope I used some products that you were eyeing. And I'll see you in the next video.